Jeb Bush will not be in Cleveland for the convention, but he is talking for the first time in a while, warning that no matter who wins in November, there is no good outcome for this election. Trump, you know, to his credit, was very smart at exploiting these kind of opportunities. He's a master at understanding how the media works, more than anybody I've ever seen in politics. The tragedy of this, though, is that there isn't going to be a wall built, and Mexico's not going to pay for it, and there's not going to be a ban on Muslims. None of that is, this is all like a alternative universe that he created. The reality is that's not going to happen. And people are going to be deeply frustrated, and the divides will grow in our country. That's the heartbreaking part of this, is I think people are going to really feel betrayed. Mm. Bush is a long uh, list, part of a long list of Republicans who will not be in Cleveland, including his brother and father, who uh, both former presidents, obviously. The last two Republican presidential nominees, Mitt Romney, John McCain, also skipping the convention, uh, and Senator Marco Rubio. Georgette Mosbacher, Republican fundraiser and Fox News contributor with me now to, to try and figure out how this is going to go. Now, you heard Jeb Bush. I did. What do you think? Well, I was disappointed in that interview. Uh, actually, I, he sounded like a poor loser. Uh, the idea that um, the country is going to feel betrayed, I, th I actually have to tell you as a Republican, I felt betrayed by Jeb Bush. Uh, I thought that uh, really he was on that stage with 16 others. Donald uh, defeated all of them. The people spoke. And uh, it's not about Jeb. It's about what's the will mm. of the electorate. And uh, he also, in that interview, gave Trump credit for running a, an effective campaign and called him very good uh, with the media, et cetera. But Jeb Bush would say, hey, you, you, you basically said you, my brother lied to get us into war. And I'm not going to stand for that. Well, you know what? He doesn't have to stand for that. He, he made his, his uh, opinion known on it. However, uh, the presidency is much bigger than an, one insult. And uh, the people chose, after hearing that, the people still chose Donald Trump. It is incumbent, I think, on every Republican to uh, now stand behind Donald and make him the best that we can make him. Uh, it's, uh, I think it's disingenuous, particularly to go on, and I can't help but saying this, a network that is so far left wing. I think that was also a message that he did one interview, one single interview. Do you think then, George, do you think Trump will build a wall? He's president? I think that Trump will do what he said. Yes, why yes, not? So the ban on Muslims from terrorist countries will happen? You know, as well? I think these things will uh, certainly, you, you take, you'd say things, then you um, get into office and you learn the facts and the details, and then you tweak them to work what will work. And I think there will be some iteration of, of those things. Suggesting there is no perfect candidate in politics. We've heard that many times. More from Bush here, okay? Specific question. Okay. Watch here. There's a threshold past which anybody that steps in the Oval Office must go past. And I don't think either Hillary Clinton or Donald Trump passed that threshold in terms of temperament, uh, character, trustworthiness, integrity. So what do you do? I can't vote for Hillary Clinton, and I can't vote for Donald Trump, and it breaks my heart. It's not. Now, this is the first time in my adult life that I'm, you know, confronted with this dilemma. The question in your Republican circles, which are prominent, how many Republicans are still thinking like he is, or have they been converted? Very few. Here's what they're saying. Very few converted, or no. very few thinking that way. Very few thinking that way. Here's what it's come down to, and here's what I've heard over and over and over again. We have two choices here. One choice we know, Hillary Clinton, we know how she, what, what she will do in office. It will be because we've had it for eight years. So we know what to expect from Hillary Clinton. With Donald Trump, we don't. But we do know it's, that something's wrong, something's broken, something needs to be changed. And so we'll, we're, let's go with someone, at least, that can go in there and try. And maybe with all of us behind him, uh, he'll rise to the occasion. Look, history has been written about people that were, no one expected to rise to the occasion and became great. And I have um, to believe... No one, ex no one expected Trump that would be standing exactly. on that stage in Cleveland. Very few no. did. We will see you in Cleveland, however. Look forward Thank to you. it. Thank you, Georgette Mosbacher. Always good to be with you.